In this episode we're going to look at the biggest problem which faces new users of the Iridium and that's tuning the computer so that it isn't downloading stuff in the background without your permission. The prerequisites for this step are that you followed the instructions to configure the internet and the Iridium and you've successfully dialed up and you can see the byte in and out counters once you're connected. So to clarify the background here, Iridium is slower than a broadband or a dial-up connection that you might be used to in the home or the office. You get approximately 20 kilobytes per minute down an Iridium connection which is quite a lot if you're using it for email, but in comparison to the amount of data that something like Windows Updates or your antivirus scanner needs to download in order to do an update, it's really not a large amount of data and it would take many minutes or even many hours to download that. So if you have any programs in the background that are doing things without your permission, and most computers these days are supplied exactly like that, then really these other programs will swamp out everything that you're trying to do on the Iridium and leave nothing left, no bandwidth left over in order to download your emails. So I set this computer up here uh, in a way that's similar to many home computers that have been installed out of the factory, although I've added a few extra items uh, such as Skype. So let's dial up and see what happens with a normal connection to the internet. So as normal we go to the start menu, we come up here to connect to, we go along to internet dial up and we first of all have a quick glance at the screen of our Iridium phone, just check we've got full signal strength and we hit dial. This will go through its usual process to connect us to the internet, so first of all it will dial the telephone number, once the remote end answers it will start to give us a verifying username and password, there we go. And then in exactly 10 seconds time, we'll get a little icon which appears down by the clock. Here it comes, which says you are connected to the internet. There it is. And if we click on that icon, this will show us the number of bytes that are being sent and received over this internet connection. Now if you've seen the previous screencast, you'll see that it'll normally be just a few thousand bytes. In this case, we can see that we've got so far nearly 16,000 bytes sent. Now, Iridium can do about 20,000 bytes per minute. So this is representing basically the connection absolutely flat out trying to send and receive data. And so clearly there's some programs using this connection without our permission. And the question really is how do we find out which program it is? Now the usual culprits are Skype, uh, Windows Updates, and your antivirus scanner as they try to download uh, new definitions and updates themselves. So you can go through and you can immediately turn all of those off. But we also have a little program on our downloads page called NetLimiter, which is very helpful in figuring out what's going on. I've already installed it on this computer, and you can see its icon down by the clock. Here it is. And if I click on that, it brings up this program here. And this graphically shows us which programs are using the internet. And here we can see that Skype is currently sending some data out again. And so that's the main user of our internet at the moment. And here it is down by the clock. We can come down to it and we can click on it and choose quit. Would you really like to do Yes. And we can see that program has now disappeared. There is another program here called Skype. Uh, there we are. Skype's gone completely now. And we should be able to look and see at the internet connection. We can see that now the number of bytes seem to have stabilised. So let's hang up the phone and reconnect again and let's see if we've got them all this time. So we'll disconnect this connection. Just dropping the phone. And let's dial the connection straight up again and this time let's watch what happens when we initially connect. So Iridium Internet dial up. Dial the telephone. Usual process it dials up. It verifies. And then we should get our icon down by the clock in exactly 10 seconds. There it is. And this time we can see that there's a program called SVC Host that in particular is using a large chunk of the internet plus a few others. Now this SVC Host actually means Windows itself and usually Windows itself means it's the automated updates that are part of Windows. So let's go and have a look. This is in the control panel so we go to start menu, go into control panel and then in control panel we're looking for automatic updates. Here it is. So double click on that and in the next page we can see here that it's currently set to download updates for me 
and the default is automatic updates which will download them and install them. If we're using Iridium we really want to be using one of these two bottom settings. This bottom setting will still use about 15 seconds of airtime every time you connect uh, just checking to see if there's any updates available and so I'd cautiously suggest that for an Iridium you look at turning off the automatic updates altogether. I have to suggest this quite cautiously though because this now means your computer is exposed it doesn't have new fixes to problems that occur on it and this could leave your computer liable to getting viruses however realistically with the Iridium you don't have enough capacity to download the updates and really you need to balance your risk against whether or not you can actually use the connection at all. So as long as you understand the risks I would suggest that you look to this screen here and you consider turning off the automatic updates. Let's have a look now and redial up the internet connection and let's see this time how it looks. So I'll just wait for the connection to drop, it's dropped. This time let's connect to Iridium internet dial up. Dial, hopefully this process is now very familiar. And here's our connection to the internet. We'll double click on it and we'll watch the number of bytes in or out. And I'm expecting this time for it to stabilize at around about, uh, about 4,000 bytes. Okay, and it seems to have pretty much come to a rest at 5,000 bytes. We can still see on NetLimiter that there's still a little bit happening here from time to time. These really are just some of the essential bits of uh, Windows. Um, it's really not possible to get it down to zero wasted bytes, um, but we've got it pretty good at the moment. So in this case, the two programs that were causing us problems were Windows Updates and uh, Skype itself. And we can see here, anytime you like, you can do this little test. We're not currently deliberately using the internet connection, and we can see here that, as we'd expect, no bytes are coming in and out of the computer, which is exactly what we'd expect. So if you're seeing slow and unreliable downloads, the first test that I suggest you do is literally this quick little test. Dial up to the internet, have a look at the number of bytes that are flowing in or out. If they're anything other than just a small few thousand bytes, you do have the problem with the computer using the internet without your permission. Fix that, and most of your other programs are likely to disappear.